you can think of it like your own personal robot companion, someone who's not just a great friend but also handles your household tasks. It will tidy up your home, mow the lawn, take your dog for a walk, help teach your children, offer babysitting, and even help produce goods and services. Have you ever pictured this kind of situation? You're incredibly swamped with work, looking after kids, and managing endless chores. You wish you could just hit a button and have a non-stop helper arrive at your door to tidy the house, cut the grass, or repair a dripping faucet. Instead of paying $20,000 to own a Tesla bought Optimus Gen 3, which might be too much for many, what if you could rent one like an Uber, for just $25 to $30 an hour? This would be huge. Personally, I believe that Optimus could end up being the biggest product ever made, by a huge margin. I think it could be 10 times bigger than anything else we've seen before. That quote from Elon Musk still gives us chills, but the conversation is growing wider than ever. Now it's not only about owning the most advanced product out there, it's about making it available to anyone when they need it, tailored to their specific needs. So, why does the $20,000 price tag for Tesla bought Gen 3 still seem too high? After more than 10 years of watching how humanoid robots are developing in the US, it's still a bit disappointing to see that Tesla has priced the Optimus Gen 3 at $20,000. Especially when rivals are spending six-figure budgets just to make a few working versions, this price could change the game, but not everyone can afford to spend that kind of money on a mechanical helper. In reality, a one-time $20,000 expense goes beyond what many families can handle, especially if they're already paying off a mortgage or saving for college. Even more urgent is how fast the technology is moving. Will the Optimus you get today still feel advanced two years from now, once Gen 4 comes out? And then there's the question of day-to-day -day use. If your robot just sits around most of the time, is that really a good investment? Tesla clearly sees these challenges, which is why their goal is to bring production costs down by building at a bigger scale. They're hoping to produce around 5,000 Optimus units, possibly even more, but since it's a brand new product with brand new parts, getting even half of that number would be a win. To get the price closer to $10,000 to $20,000, Tesla needs to get really good at manufacturing at scale. But there's another option nobody talks about much, why not just pay for the hours you need? Like calling a cleaner or dog walker. Every hour the robot spends helping you out, whether it's cleaning, doing errands, or assisting someone elderly, could just be part of a small, manageable monthly fee. That way, Optimus becomes something everyday people can afford, while still creating a solid business model for Tesla. Now imagine a future not too far away. Instead of opening your Uber app or looking for a service on Handy or TaskRabbit, you open the TeslaBot app. You tap, book Optimus, jot down your task list, and watch the robot walk itself to your front door. Through a robot-as-a-service approach, Optimus could charge by the hour, $1.25 per hour, or offer day and week rates for bigger jobs like moving or deep cleaning. Everything would be smooth and easy. When it's done, Gen 3 would go back to its wireless charger, power up in 10 minutes, and be ready for its next job, with no help needed from you. Honestly, we're both amazed and cautiously excited about what Optimus Gen 3 can really do around the house. Imagine it moving through your home, vacuuming carpets, mopping floors, and even scrubbing kitchen counters with its precise 22 degrees of motion. Head outside and you'll see it trim the hedges just right, mow the lawn perfectly, and even plant flowers with care. Its actuators are so precise they feel like an artist's touch. When something needs fixing, Optimus won't hesitate. It can tighten a faucet, fix small wall cracks, and even pack groceries into the car. It's strong and precise at the same time. And yes, Tesla did remind us to be kind to the Optimus robots. You'll be able to walk up to them and they'll even serve drinks, maybe not your top request unless you're throwing a party, but still fun to think about. That's not just a gimmick. It shows us a future where these robots fit in naturally, helping out at social events like they've done it for years. Behind all the sci-fi ideas is a real business plan. Elon Musk has always pushed for vertical integration, Tesla makes its own batteries, motors, sensors, and AI software. 
Now, they're putting all of that into a robot. Local Tesla centers would store and manage fleets of Optimus bots, ready to respond across different neighborhoods. Tap a button, and the nearest robot is sent to pick up a package, mow a lawn, or help with some basic repairs. That's real-world robotics, right at your fingertips. And if you want more control, Tesla Bot Gen 3 could offer different service levels, just like Uber has Uber X, Uber XL, and Uber Black. You could start with a basic plan, 10 hours a month for standard chores. Need more? Upgrade to a pro plan with 50 hours and priority scheduling. Or maybe you're running a business, there could be a plan just for that too. Tesla says Optimus is powered by real-world AI, the same AI that runs their self-driving cars. They've taken their skills in batteries, motors, and production and applied them here. And they know how to build things well. That means Optimus isn't just a machine, it's the same smart system tested on roads across the world. If the price is broken down into hours or days, that $20,000 starts to look much more doable. It's not just a robot, it's a clever, helpful assistant for your everyday life. So how does all this really help everyday people? Let's say your home needs about 40 hours of help each month. You've got two main choices. You can buy Optimus for $20,000 and use it as much as you want, but you'll also need to deal with upkeep and value loss. That could be around $500 a month, or $6,000 a year. You're betting that the robot stays useful and doesn't get outdated quickly. Or you rent. At $25 to $30 an hour, 40 hours costs about $1,000 per month, or $12,000 a year. This is better if you only need help sometimes, like cleaning on weekends, taking care of the yard during certain seasons, or doing repairs now and then. You're only paying when you actually use it. That could save businesses over $15,000 a year and households around $6,000. In the end, whether you buy or rent depends on how much you plan to use it. If you need a helper all the time, buying might save more in the long run. But if you want freedom and don't want to spend money when it's just sitting there, renting is the smarter choice. Based on your needs, would you buy Optimus or rent it by the hour, and why? If you'd go with renting, leave a comment with the number one. If you want a full-time robot that fits into your family's routine, comment with the number two. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching. One of the biggest issues for early buyers of Tesla Optimus is the weight. In early 2025, Elon Musk said that the first robots were just finished at the Fremont factory, with 5,000 planned for the year. That means while a few test customers might start using them in mid-2025, most people won't see one until 2026 or even 2027. Even if Tesla increases output by 10 times every year, it'll still take a while to reach everyone. They're aiming for 50,000 to 100,000 in the next year, and 500,000 within three years. The rental idea can help speed that up. A few months after the first robots are made, Tesla could start a rental pilot at a few service centers, maybe by the end of 2025 or early 2026. That would open the door for robot rentals in big cities by mid-2026, and maybe across the country by 2027. That means instead of waiting years, you might get access in just 6 to 12 months. We've seen this before. Tesla finds ways to get new tech to people quickly. Look at the Model S Plaid, it became super popular on the Turo car sharing app. In March 2025, people in Los Angeles were lining up to try the 1,020 horsepower car through Turo. Even without official programs, demand stays strong. In 2023, Tesla hinted at a rental pilot at its Texas centers, starting with the Model 3. It began as a way to give customers temporary cars during repairs, but it grew into a wider short-term rental option. That move showed Tesla's pattern, when there's strong demand, they act quickly. So when people weigh buying versus renting, many will see the value in fast and flexible access. Renting Optimus means no huge upfront cost, faster availability, and you only pay for what you use. Buying, on the other hand, means waiting one to two years and hoping the robot stays current. 
In a world where getting help quickly matters more than owning stuff, the rental idea could help people check off their to-do lists faster. All of this is exciting, but let's be real, it won't be easy. For this to work, Tesla needs a solid plan. Running a big fleet of Optimus robots means having lots of places where they're stored, cleaned, and fixed. These places need to be ready all the time. Because rental robots are used more often, they'll need regular checks to prevent them from breaking down during a job. Then there's insurance. What happens if Optimus breaks something or slips in your kitchen? Tesla will need clear rental rules and insurance plans to protect both users and the company. Technically, even with all its updates, Gen 3 still has limits. It might struggle with steep stairs, tight spaces, or messy construction zones. It depends on internet access too, so Tesla will need to make sure it doesn't freeze during tasks if the signal drops. Another key thing is teaching people how to use it. Tesla could offer short how-to guides in the app, or even virtual reality lessons to help renters learn how to control, monitor, and pause the robot safely. This would make everything easier and safer. How likely is it that the Tesla bot rental service will work? Other companies are trying similar things, but Tesla has a big edge. They already have batteries, AI, and a huge production setup. At first, Tesla will probably test the rental idea in places like Fremont and Austin to learn what works before going national. To grow faster, they might also team up with companies like Handy or TaskRabbit. That way, Optimus becomes part of the services people already use. And it could go even further. If Tesla opens up the bot to developers with APIs, people could create new skills for it, like grooming pets or helping with elder care. That would make it even more useful. So, do you trust Optimus to handle delicate jobs, like teaching kids, babysitting, or serving drinks at parties? Would you want it as a full time helper or just for chores like lawn care or cleaning? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to dive deeper into the world of Tesla EVs or the Tesla bot, don't forget to hit like and share this video. Also, Make sure to subscribe to Drive's Mind and turn on the bell so you don't miss our newest updates. We really appreciate your support and can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.